What's up everybody, this is Vanquish X and today I'm going to be going over my top 5 movies from the MCU. Now this isn't in an order, the first one I say isn't necessarily my all time favourite movie from this universe. These are just 5 movies that I enjoy the absolute hell out of and can watch time and time again. And I'm only going to say 4 of these choices because I have a special guest on the channel today and that is Geek Ammo, a channel run by Max and George, a channel I did a collab with a couple of months ago and they're just really really great guys, their channel was awesome, they're really really funny and they do talk about a bunch of geeky stuff like Star Wars unboxings, their unboxings are great and a lot of fun to watch and they're just a really cool set of guys and their channel was really really fun so if you're from their channel hello hope you like this video enough to maybe leave a like and subscribe to me and if you're from my channel and haven't heard about them before go over to Geek Ammo, show them some love, subscribe to them and just enjoy their content which I'm really really sure you will so I'm going to say four of these and they're going to come in with their choice which I actually agree with so it really works that it's on this list anyway so yeah let's just jump right into it and start off with Iron Man and this is on this list because it was the thing that kicked off the MCU and the movie that started it all and it holds a special place in my heart because it opened this universe and who would think a movie that was made really cheaply was written and made on the fly as they were filming it and was Marvel's last kind of hoorah and movement to make movies and stay kind of relevant in the movie industry and a film that started off kind of cheaply and made on kind of the fly and who would think that would open up now and they're in space now with Guardians of the Galaxy, they made the Avengers work and they're making a Captain Marvel and a Black Panther movie and whatever else they're going to cook up. It's just unbelievable to think it started with a movie that was made kind of on the last legs of this movie industry. So it's really, really cool to think that that kicked it off and it just shows what Marvel were going to do in these characters and elements of them and just how they would take these movies. I really love the way they took it because it started with Tony Stark being an arrogant, rich kid who's a bit of a douche who just thinks he's better than everybody and he's really really smart whose company makes weapons and then they flip it on its head when he decides, oh wait no this is bad, we need to stop after he gets attacked by one of his weapons and sees that they're give getting given to terrorists and all this kind of stuff so I really really enjoyed that. I love the way they showed how people reacted to it, like the company, especially his boss Obadiah Stane who becomes the villain of the movie which is quite a big hard hitting thing and I love the way they mixed the humour with the dark elements of it and the story elements to show what Marvel were going to do in these characters, like a, a scene when he's flying away from jet fighters trying to kill him and he's phoning and joking with someone who can save his life and just kind of shit, shit himself because fighter jets could just launch him out of the sky. It just showed what Marvel were going to do with kind of their humour elements and all that stuff and plus it's probably one of the best looking Iron Man movies out there since the suit's kind of degraded now. It looked better here than it did in Civil War where his head looked like it was just photoshopped on top of it so it looked amazing. The suits, the technology and the way they just handled stuff and made it look and work was just a really really good movie and it just still holds a place in my heart because it kicked all this off. I was just handled really really well. So next up is Captain America The Winter Soldier and this is just one of the best movies in the MCU. I think it is probably one of my favourites. It's really really up there and it just showed what Marvel could do with a darker element and a darker storyline and I loved that they made it a kind of old school spy espionage thriller movie where they were investigating what's going on, who's behind what, who's who, what the hell is going on. I just love that and then it showed off S.H.I.E.L.D. a bit more in the spy elements, a thing we didn't really see in the MCU until then which I really really liked. And I love that it flipped the MCU entirely on its head by making S.H.I.E.L.D. Hydra, by saying Hydra have been infiltrating S.H.I.E.L.D. since like day one, member by member, and building up until they could fully take over. And that really affected the entire MCU from the movies to the TV shows, especially Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D., which basically had a whole season about Hydra taking over and how they would deal with that. It's just a really, really cool thing to take and quite a dark element to handle. And I love the exploration they did into Steve himself at the Captain America, with him dealing with the jump in time from being frozen in the 1940s and being in 2013 or whatever the film is and seeing him have a journal and write stuff down he needs to catch up on like Star Wars and albums he needs to listen to and TV shows he needs to watch just everything he has to do to get caught up and how he's dealing with that and seeing it still kind of hurting him that everybody he knew is gone and trying to handle with a new sense of freedom with S.H.I.E.L.D. kind of trying to control that and just him dealing with everything it was a really really good kind of element to take and seeing that he's still kind of struggling with it all and the fact that Hydra and the organisation he thought he got rid of has came back and that Bucky, a friend he thought was dead, comes back as a villain and has been killing people and assassinating people for all these years for the Russians. It's just a really cool way to take it and a big gut punch to the MCU and the Russo brothers just made 
a fantastic movie and next up is the Avengers and this is on this list because of just how much of a spectacle it was. Nothing like that had been done before or nothing on that scale had been done before and seeing those characters come together and that are pretty big in the comics and have been, been built upon since 2008 which is when the MCU started which is insane but to see them finally come together and stand in that circle and fight a common enemy was just ah it's happening. Holy crap, it was just such a big move and just seeing them deal with each other and kind of clash with their personalities, some of them even fight and slowly coming together to fight Loki and stop the Tauri alien invasion which was really really fun to see. And it's also my favourite cinema going experience or my best one I have ever had because the screen was packed, me and my brother luckily got like the last two seats, no seat was spare and it just felt like a giant MCU Marvel comic fan family because everybody was laughing at the same things, enjoying the story, feeling from the characters and everything that was happening. I just felt like we're sitting there with family members and it will stick with me forever and that's kind of the big thing that the Avengers is on this list because it just felt like you're with a family of people which was such a great thing to feel plus the movie it's really really cool to see. And lastly for my choices is Ant-Man. I absolutely love it and most of it is because they made it a small heist movie after big blockbuster movies like Age of Ultron where a robot was trying to take over the world and then you have a character that can literally shrink going on a heist mission which is such a weird thing to take it. It just works really well and the design of it all was awesome. The way they dealt with him actually shrinking, explaining it and just the design of the film, like the mini dimension he goes into and how that's nice design is just such a big spectacle and a thing from the eye. It's such a cool visionary element in a movie and the way the characters work, like Scott Lang played by Paul Rudd, who is absolutely amazing in that role, he was perfect for it and the way he, you know, did the comedy side of it, the kind of weird, confused side of it, and the way he bounced off other characters like uh, Michael Douglas and Evangeline Lilly and how everything worked out and how he, a character who could literally just shrink go to like ant size, have to stop a guy who's trying to sell suits to the military, yellow jacket and kind of control that side of thing and just how he's going to break into it and the plan and it just felt like an old school kind of Ocean Eleven type movie. I just loved it for that fact. Ant-Man is just a really really fun movie. So that's it for my choices and I can't wait for you guys to hear Geek Ammo's choice. It's a good choice and it really fits on this list as well because it's one of my favourites so it really really works out. So I'm going to hand it to them so Geek Ammo, take it away. Thank you, Vanquish X. Um, we're Geek Ammo, if you didn't already know. I'm Max. And I'm George. And please check out our uh, channel. Um, and if you like what you see, subscribe. Yeah, yeah. So when Vanquish X messaged us saying uh, he wanted to do a collab about our favourite MCU movies, there was only one that sprang to mind. And then when George spoke to me about doing the collab, there was, of course, only one movie that sprang to mind. Wait, what, why are we texting? And that movie was Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, that was my absolute favourite film of that year, and it's my yeah. favourite MCU movie. Definitely, yeah, yeah. With Guardians of the Galaxy, where it was fresh and new, and mm -hmm. it was something we'd never seen from the uh, sort of Marvel Universe before, mm -hmm. uh, I think, think that certainly helps yeah. it to become... I mean, like you say, something we've not seen before. The space elements, yeah. the humour, we've yeah. not... You know, I loved Drax and how... The characters are yeah. absolutely amazing. Star-Lord yeah. and Chris Pat, Pratt in general, I think he's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, anything he's in, but Star-Lord, he just embodies that yeah. character, I think. Yeah, there wasn't really one bad character in it, I don't yeah. think. I think with any MCU movie, the villain was a bit weak, but I still really like okay, Ronan. Yeah, yeah, I, I still really like Ronan the Accuser. He's still quite a good villain. Play, he was played Thranduil, didn't he? Yeah, he did play Thranduil. And, um, and the pie guy in that weird uh, programme ages ago. Check it out. But um, Okay. Yeah. And what other sort of film can end with a dance-off? I, I, you know, I yeah, love yeah. the way he... The, I think throughout the music... Yeah. Was on point yeah, the, the soundtrack to Guardians of the Galaxy is amazing. <laughs> you just, just upload that without the sound. <laughs> yeah, so the soundtrack was amazing, fits so well with the movie, and yep. uh, like I say, it's such a, a great film because, like you said, like, it's a feel good film, isn't it? It is a feel good yeah. film, and if you don't know, my favourite Star Wars character, Han Solo, without a doubt. And it is a group of Han Solo y sort of characters. Yeah, so what is there not yeah, to yeah, love? Yeah, yeah. Um, Although, I, I wouldn't say Drax was really here. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can, that see, is true. I can see Rocket. Or Groot, yeah. even. <laughs> or even He's Gamora. Chewbacca. He's Chewbacca. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just like a group of misfits. And now, 
Yeah. That that speech at the end, you know, that bit where he goes, "We're all losers," and yes, by that yeah, I yeah, mean yeah. Uh, we've, we've all, all lost, lost something. something. Yeah, yeah. That actually got me in the cinema, and it still gets me every time really? when I watch it. Yeah, oh, it, it's one you're, of my. You're a more complex person. Than yeah, I I, I, yeah, it hits me right here, oh. Max. But uh, yeah, because I think. It's a nice, you know, yeah. as someone who has been an outcast. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it really, uh, I think it's a great speech, just in f- general. I really yeah, like yeah. that. And it fits those characters so well. I think as well, visually, it's very impressive as well. The like, CGI the, the, is yeah, yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I, I'm looking, uh, you know, the fight scenes and just generally are, are great. And the yeah, aliens, yeah. species and stuff like that. 100%, yeah. And it's got Nathan Fillion in it. I love Nathan Fillion as well. I know he, I know he's a minor character. Nathan Fillion's in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's that guy who gets <laughs> the things up his nose. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, well, oh yeah, really? yeah, yeah, so yeah. Max I'm is learning something there. Oh wow, yeah. oh, it's even better now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, like we say, it's it's like Firefly and Han Solo combined with loads of weird aliens in the MCU. What is there not to love? And we're so excited for Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy 2. 2 yeah. Check out our It's going to be hard to beat, though. It is going to be hard to beat. But check out our theory video about how there might be a Star Wars Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy crossover. crossover. Oh, yeah, cool. check it out on our channel. So anyway, thanks for having us on Vanquish X. And we'll go back to you for the rest of your MCU video. Thank you. Thanks for recording that for me, guys. I absolutely agree with your choice. Guardians of the Galaxy is a great movie. The characters are awesome. The space elements are great. It's just such a good choice and it fits perfectly on my list as it is one of my favourite movies as well. So it really, really works that you chose that. It's a really good choice. And when the second one being out, it was such a good movie as well. I really enjoyed that. So if you guys haven't seen Geek Album before or not, you can go check out our Guardians of the Galaxy 2 review to find out what they finally think in that movie since they talked about it in the little recording there. And just find out more about our channel. So yeah, that's my five choices for the MCU. Well, four one from them. But we all agree that Guardians of the Galaxy is one of our favourites as well. So I'm going to leave the video here, guys. If you like the list and just the video, rock out that like button. Leave a comment down below and tell what you think of my choices and what yours are. And if you agree with Geek Ammo that Guardians of the Galaxy is one of the best MCU movies. Just everything about that. And if you want to see what they thought about the second one, I'll link the review in the description and just our channel. Go check them out. So yeah, leave everything down below about your lists and what you think of mine. And also don't forget to subscribe as it does really really help me out guys so thank you guys so much for watching and for your support i love you guys and stay tuned for the next video